I'm just going to do a real quick video about starting a new civilization or starting a new city and choosing your civilization. And always know that you can change your civilization later when your priorities change. So just think in terms of what is the priority of your civilization at this time or your city at this time and what you want it to be about. And I am going to do a separate video on farming cities. So we'll just take in consideration if we wanted a farming city, what would we choose as our first as our civilization. We're not going to concern ourselves so much about the first, this will be the first epic commander here, Shipio, whatever shows up here is your epic, and if you know your commanders at all, um, you'll know kind of what their strengths are. He is a lot about conquering and attack. Um, that's what I'm developing him for now that I have to deal with that. But this is a good one for food gathering speed and troop march speed, which is a good thing for having when you are gathering. Germany, action recovery, troop training. Um, troop training is the pri would be a good thing, but is that as important in the long term? Probably not for a farm city. Troop training again, but she is an excellent, excellent peacekeeper, and I do think peacekeeping will always be a, a important thing, especially for a farm city, because as I pointed out in other videos, using your commanders for peacekeeping also gets you a lot of tokens, and those tokens can be shared as well. You just redeem them and share them. France has really good for wood gathering speed. Vikings doesn't really have anything but troop load that helps for farming city. China, action point recovery, that would be for peacekeeping, but in the future, you'll, just, you'll never be able to use it all if you're busy. Um, building speed troop defense, not important. The only thing that's really good about this, though, is Sun Tzu is an excellent garrison chief, and you are going to need one strong garrison, at least garrison commander, for um, protecting your city, because your storehouse is going to be very, very full. It's going to be overflowing at times. And you're going to want to protect your city because people are going to want to raid to plunder. Also in consideration for um, a farming city, scout march speed is raised by 30%. That would be just more for clearing. But resource gathering speed is raised by 5%. That's really good for a farming city. For Korea, nope, I don't see anything. And he is, I believe, a garrison chief as well. So that would be the one thing to consider with Korea. Spain, I think, is excellent for a farming city, and I really like Pelagius. But I like Pelagius when he's attacking peacekeepers or other troops to, because of the bulls. <laughs> That's what made me see who he was in, initially. But you gain your experience by 10% when you're doing peacekeeping. And as I've recommended... If you have your peacekeepers actually training other commanders, especially like gathering commanders, then they're getting XP, and this would increase their XP by an, another 10%. And also resource production. Initially, that won't be much, but in the future, that's going to be huge, having that extra 20% um, resource production. Because there'll be times you can't have your gatherers gathering, but they'll still be producing resources to share with your main city. Arabia, damage dealt to barbarians, that's about the only thing I see as a benefit for a farming city. Um, Baybars, I, he's not related to Garrison, I don't believe. I think he's conquering and leadership. Uh, Ottoman, troop march speed by 5%, that's good, but none of these others seem to be good. And I don't know much about Osman the first. I haven't really developed mine yet because I think they're more geared towards battle. And Byzantium, I really like Belisarius. He was my very, this was my first civilization and he was my first epic. And every time I get him in my other cities, I'm happy. He increases stone gathering by 10%, which is great. And he's also a great peacekeeper. Really, really good peacekeeper. So, these are the kind of things to consider. Now, I was focusing on farming. If you focus on something else, like if you want to be a, in the battles in the future and you want to focus on cavalry and you want to cavalry and you want to start now, or you know, it all depends on what is the motivation of your. I would say your initial end game, not your final end game, because like I said, you can change your civilization later and you can change your commanders later. And we'll focus more on that in a different video. But this is just about choosing your first civilization 
For this particular one, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my favorite from farming, Spain. From a barren land, engulfed in the flames of war. 